Hello, um, I call myself Claire Who Makes Things and today I'm bringing you a makes video plus a Mandy Shaw Secret Society unboxing. Um, I have got Rafe with me, uh, I don't know if you watched my last video but he did keep jumping out. He has already jumped out uh, just before I started filming but things weren't right, I've had to stop the video because it looked wonky, um, things were sticking out, so I've had to get started, but he kept jumping out, but I've put him back in, and he stayed in there, and I think he, he might stay in there a little bit, it should be really useful, and I have bought a couple of his toys in with me today, so hopefully I can keep him entertained, so normally he just sits in there quite good, but lately he's just jumping straight out and wanting to be on my lap. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to talk about, it's not not a total me made thing it's a shop bought that I've done something to it and uh, when I went to Cornwall I think it might have been last year I um I basically I bought a couple of jumpers from TK Maxx and um, I, this is one of them and I bought another one and I really really I loved the other one more because the shape was just gorgeous I'd never had a jumper that I liked more than that one and uh, basically I never came home with it I remember wearing it to um, a day trip to Penzance and I remember I had it in the car uh, when we came back from Penzance because I remember taking it off in the car but um, when we were packing to come home I decided to travel home in it and uh, and I thought I just when I pack everything when I, I won't pack that when I find it but I never found it and I ended up unpacking everything and then had a look uh, and then I, I couldn't find it and I just thought oh it'll be there somewhere when I get home I'll find it and never ever found it and then I didn't like this one as much because I didn't really particularly like the length of it but I, I ended up wearing it a couple of times and um, but actually I've got some stains on it so I've had really bad luck with these jumpers and then it was just basically unwearable I thought oh do you know I'm just gonna have to wear it in the house and then one day I just woke up I thought oh, I know what to do I was never keen on the length of it anyway so I'm going to crop it now it's ended up being a tad bit more cropped than I would have liked but I've had to do it that length just to get the two stains out so I'll just uh, I'll stand up to show you so it's there so it's not it's not too bad actually uh, these are quite high-waisted shorts and uh, yeah and that's what it's looking so I'm quite I'm quite happy with that and actually I think I, I will wear this more now so I'm quite delighted with it but I do I think I am, I am seeing a bit of a gap in my wardrobe uh, even though at the moment I'm concentrating on summer makes um, when you see me in here I've, I've often got something quite cosy on and um, I've just just realised actually I've done myself a coffee and I didn't bring it in so hopefully I don't start having a coffee and fit or something but um yeah I definitely when the summer is over because uh, at the moment I want to concentrate on summer makes um I'm gonna have to make some jumpers and things because especially for my videos because it's so cold in here I just I definitely need some so that's my this is the that I've, I sort of put a note of my Paris because it is Paris so I don't know if you can see that Paris sweater right so uh secret society june now I, I probably mentioned this in a previous video and i have done a little bit of it um you get some extra projects along with the bit that you would meant to do every month and the, the project you got in the June one was to make this bag and I've done the red work for it. I don't think I'd done this when I last saw you, uh, so that should be new to you. I've posted it on Instagram, um, but I'm not sure. I'm de well, I'm definitely going to make the bag, but I don't know whether to make that bag and use like a sewing related themed fabric that I've got. Uh, and do something different and then use the red work that I've done to go on like a folder because you know I'm going to be getting a lot of these things coming through um, each month 
it will just be somewhere to store them so I'm a little undecided at the moment and I haven't I'm, I'm planning on doing the recipe that came with that month and I haven't done that yet so that's on the agenda so that is the June secret society so I'm not I doubt there's any spoilers with that now because people are starting to get their July one so I think I'm safe enough to show you that without some good warning uh, my next make um uh, actually, when I didn't mention with my my sweater that my, this sweater, maybe um, I'll put a photograph of what it looked like before, and you might be able to see the stains. It might be the before and after shot. Or it might be just before. So I'll just put that there now. I'm all new to this basically. If you watch my pre uh, like previous videos, if you've been watching me a while, uh, like a lot of people, you'll probably be thinking, oh, they're watching their dressmaking journey. Well, me, it's it's my filming journey. You've probably seen that I'm getting a bit better at doing these videos. So, so that was that. So the next make, I haven't got it to hand, but because of the power of uh, ability now, I'm gonna, you're gonna see the pants now. I'm really delighted to get a pair of pants out of this fabric. If you watched a, a previous video, um, I bought this Tilly and the Buttons organic cotton knit fabric. Um, I got it from Create and Craft when it was launched. Um, I think Carrie who Carrie makes it or Carrie makes it was presenting. Uh, it's in collaboration with the Craft Cotton Company, and. Um, it was a launch day and um, I don't remember how much I bought. I bought two different fabrics, one that I've not used, uh, but, but I got the stripy one and I managed to get a Tilly in the Buttons cocoa dress out of it. I'll put that there now for you if you haven't seen it already. Uh, I managed to get the um, a top out of it from the Friday Pattern Company, the square neck top. I'll put that there. Oh gosh, I'm going to have a lot of pictures to put in, aren't I? And then finally, the pants. And I have got a little bit left, so I don't know what else I could get out of it, but I have got a little bit of it left. So I'm really, really happy to get so many makes out of that fabric, which is delightful. Ne so my next make I'm going to talk about. Now, if you've seen this on Instagram or Facebook already, I called him Mr. Chips. But his proper name is Captain Chips. Now, um, I, I can put the photograph on, um, but I've also got him here to show you. So here he is. He's at Captain Chips the Seagull, and his little hat comes off, and he's got little rosy cheeks, and uh, and he he's lovely, isn't he? And I got him as a kit uh, through. Um, Thimblewood off her chanda and uh, I'll show you the box. So if you've been watching my previous video, um, Thimblewood is quite new to me and uh, and I've just, I'm in love with her work, I really am. And um, and last time I showed you a, excuse me a minute, a makes video, I showed you the boat. Maybe I'll put the boat on here now. So I made her boat. I've made other th things of Michelle's but this is the box that it came in. And, uh, and yeah, it's Captain Chips and you get what you need in it. I'm just thinking, is there anything important? Um, yeah, the only, actually, that's quite interesting. The designer has seen mine and she's actually shared all my makes on her Facebook page. And she actually comments, she said I'd done a better job of the stripes on mine than she had on hers and I hadn't noticed that actually but they're not my stripes aren't absolutely perfect the way I cut them out I knew they were gonna reach but there was a little bit of fraying on that fabric so my recommendation would be if you were to make Captain Chips um, I would probably interface uh, with a light interfacing the fabric to um, avoid fraying because I had to go back and re-stitch a bit more on there and uh, yeah it goes together lovely you basically you sew them all together you put the wings on after and your turning gap is through the leg holes and then you basically stitch the legs in put the wings on I'm just thinking how I've hand tapped those wings on actually so you make those after um, I think, oh, I did do them different. I think Michelle got you to leave a turning gap 
on here to turn the wings through. Now personally, I would have a turning gap on a straight edge, not a rounded edge. Now I can understand why Michelle might have wanted you to put them on the rounded edge, because she probably thought maybe it would be a bit unsightly if you put it at the top. But I did a turning gap underneath the wing, uh, so I didn't have the turning bit here. I basically, before I made a hole, uh, a nice straight hole in the back of the back piece of the fabric before I stitched it together, and then I just whipped it together and then I sewed those on so it's totally hidden. And then the last thing you make uh, is the little hat. And that was quite enjoyable because um, there were some similarities with the hat I made for myself actually. The um, Fiona uh, Hesford uh, Sew Girl military hat. I'll pop that on there if you haven't seen there before. So there were a few similarities with his hat actually. So. He was lovely to make. Now, I've got him displayed um, in my porch. Now, and he's with the boat. Now, on my video that I told you about my boat, I know this doesn't really matter, but I told you, oh, I'm displaying him in my hall. Well, I'm not. I'm displaying them in my porch. Now, when I uh, look back at my video to upload it, I thought I've never put words upon the screen. So I thought, oh, shall I change it? When I said hallway, Hall, shall I put the word porch? And I attempted to put the word porch, and uh, and what happened is it like underlined it, and then the word porch stayed on the video for the whole of the rest of the video. So I managed to delete it, and I thought, well, if they think I'm going to put it in my hall, just let them think I'm putting it in my hall. I'll tell them next time they're in my porch. Not that it matters to you whether they're in my hall or my porch, but it bothered me because sometimes. I watch myself back and I, and I get words wrong, uh, you know, silly words sometimes. I think, oh, oh, I need, so I need to do this skill, be able to put a little word when I get things wrong, because I get things wrong a lot. So that is Captain Chips. Right, cross it, cross that out. Right, now I've finally caved, haven't I? I've really, really put this off. Um, like coming in here, my craft room, is a bit of escapism from what is going on in the world and the news and everything. And uh, so I kind of try and not think about reality. So I did put off making masks for as long as I could. But with new government guidelines that I think it's this Friday, uh, we, it's Tuesday I'm filming, Tuesday afternoon I'm filming right now. I think on Friday in the UK, it's a compulsory thing that you've got to wear masks on uh, in shops. So I basically I've made five masks. You might have seen on these on social media. You saw a picture of four of them, but there were, I did make five. But one of my sons was actually wearing his for fun at the time. So uh, so here are the masks that I've made. Some of them, two of them. This is my mask. I've used like a very like it's like a Great Britain, Great British rose kind of fabric. It's basically a Great Britain fat quarter pack. That I've used quite a lot of and this was like a rose fabric that was in it and on the back I've just used um, a fabric that I bought that went uh, in a quilt that I've made actually um, you've never seen I don't think you've ever seen it on YouTube maybe you've seen me hold it I don't know but the quilt this is the quilt that I made using that fabric I've got a lot of sorting of photographs out to do haven't I when I do go back and do this and um so that is my one, and what have you? I've done ties for the um, for the bits that go around your head and round your neck, and um, I used to be a dental nurse um, when I left school. That's what I trained as, and our masks were like this. They were. Um, you know uh, they were disposable but they were that kind of shape that you can do that with and there were ties and what I used to do is I used to tie it round my head tie them both but when I used to take it off I would only undo the one round the neck and then just leave the one on the top done up all the time um, like you know until I, I changed to my other mask and um, what I've used for the ties you might not be able to see this um, I made a Sew Over It Agnes top, it was my second one ever, uh, a long sleeve plain one. I did write, have raised the neck on it, um, I might, I probably haven't, I haven't got a decent picture of that actually but I was wearing it in another video. I used the leftover uh, fabric um, from that. 
uh, it's got deers on it to make those and I literally just got enough out of it um, I got far, managed to get five worth of top, you know, enough for five masks. But then I made the mistake of posting them on social media, and you like, like I don't like, I don't mind, but I did get inundated with people private messaging me saying, "Can you make one? Can you make one?" And I just could, I just couldn't. I, I couldn't have made that many anywhere. That's all I've been doing, and I have got a family. And uh, but I just, I just couldn't. And then my mum wanted one, and it, obviously when it's your mum, it's a bit awkward, isn't it? So I actually saw somebody that was selling masks and asked her if she'd made one. And as she did, and I, I went to collect it uh, yesterday, uh, and I dropped it to my mum. And um, hello, Rose. But uh, it is a. Oh, I'll give him another. I'm giving him a finger. Here you go. Do you want that? So I'll put that in there. Right, I've got these. Are what I've been giving him these smart bones. They they look like rawhide, but they say no rawhide, and they're highly digestible. And they're basically made of vegetable and chicken, and they're meant to maintain healthiness and things. Oh. Are you, are you heading out again? I think he's going to take a leap, isn't he? Come on then. He's done well, hasn't he? I'm just looking. 15 minutes, he's done quite well. I didn't think he'd sit there for 15 minutes with what happened at the start. Um, and that's one of the other ones I've made. It's the same backing. I've made different ones. They're not all, all in those fabrics. But, uh, yeah, so yeah, it's been a bit crazy. I had a number of people wanting the pattern. The pattern is... Um, made every day uh, and yeah so that's what's been going on with masks so I've not actually worn mine out yet um, I just know with mine's going to get covered in makeup isn't it so I you know <laughs> I hope to be ashamed to ruin it really so anyway right dress oh right okay uh, you may have seen that um, I've been making the Christine Haynes um, Sylvie dress so I'll see if it will focus if I leave it there long enough, will it? Kind of, yeah. I can put photos of my plant out. And you may have seen before I made one in a pineapple fabric that I received from So Haley Jane. So I made that one. Uh, on that one, I lengthened the bodice um, a couple of inches. Um, what else did I do? And I just basically took it in at the end, kind of thing. Uh, but. Well, I did have some issues when I sewed it together. What are you after, mister? He does look like, a, like he's after something. Do you want one of these? Hey, do you want one of these? I don't know what, he looks like he's, at, he's trying to get... Maybe it's because he's seen these on here. Maybe if I put them in his chair, he might uh, he might be less inclined to try and jump on the, uh, on the table. So, what was I saying there? What, the dress, right, so... Most of the pineapple dress, and I did have some issues making that one. Uh, when I went to put the waistband on, things weren't lining up. So the next time I made another one, I wanted to make another one, I made a full twirl. And I showed you this last time, and uh, and I made it out of bed sheets that were like a coffee machine had leaked on, and they got stains all over it. Um, and oh, that was what I was going to say. I'd managed to mix up the bodice I was planning on using with a small bodice with the pineapple one. So when I made the toile, I made sure I used the correct size bodice for the correct size dress. I made, uh, I checked with the designer and I found out I was putting the waistband on upside down, so I've got that sorted. But then the dress absolutely swamped me. And actually, because I'd used the bigger bodice, it had dropped the waistline down, so I've ended up putting the waistband up <laughs> putting the waistband i don't know what he wants putting the waistband up i wonder if he's looking for his toys do you know what i'm gonna put him on the floor because his toys are down here and he might play with those but i'll show you one of, one of his toys that's one of them cornish plastic oh gosh do you know what he's done oh no i've got fabric down here that i've washed that i want to show you and he just went straight and sat on there. So no, that's not that's not happening, Mister. <laughs> I don't know what's 
happened. He's normally so good, and he's just honestly, he's like, you've give, I've given him an inch, and he's taken a mile, isn't he? So, and he's like making me lose my train train of thought, right? So, it swamped me. So, and it lowered the waistline. So, I ended up to go back to the pattern piece, and I raised it back up. The amount that I dropped it down. I actually raised it back up to the original. So then I made the dress. Um, it went together much easier because obviously I knew, you knew I was putting the waistband on properly and everything. And uh, but then what did, what happened with this one? Oh, I know I've lowered the back. I have ended up lowering the back. I've lowered the back line on the twine. And I've, I've lowered it again even more. But at the end, I was happy with the waistline, but at the end, it, it was still obviously very big. So what I did, I just basically took it in. Um, I, haven't, I've, I haven't got the dress to hand, but I'll show you photographs. But this, but before I put it up, this is what I, t I took off. I, can you see it's like a weird shape? So see, it's quite bulbous there. And it goes really skinny. Basically, that's off the side. That bit's off the side of the bust. There's two of them off the side of the bust area. The bit that really goes bulbous in is where I've really cinched it in at the waist. And then this bit is just basically about an inch that I've took all the way off the edge of the skirt. So the skirt is a tad wider than the pineapple one because the um, I took an inch and a half off either side of that one. So I've only took an inch off the sides of this one, but I've probably took the waist in further. So yeah, so but I'm really happy with it. So I'll put photographs in of it now here. I, I, I'd laugh if basically I get to it and then I can't do it. It doesn't. It doesn't work out. So uh, is that what I need to say about? It? So that's that. Uh, I would have liked to show you on my dress forms, but um, they've been through the wash and they're not back. And my washing's been a bit slowed down because um, because I do sometimes use a tumble dry. But and I've got another thing. But my husband. I've, well. I'll tell you about that in a minute. He's been messing with my washing lines, so I'll um oh yeah, I'll tell you about that in a bit. I'll I'll crack on with these anyway. So anyway, I was telling you in a in a another video that um I my pineapple dress was printed in the So Haley Jane uh, magazine, and it was on the back page. And it's here, that one I showed you a minute ago. And uh, what was unfortunate is I'd done the cross, the puzzle on the page in front and I dented myself. Well, a lovely um, Instagrammer, uh, Kerry, she's got a, her name, uh, Kerry is C E R I, um, has sent me a new one. And she said that, and I just want to say thank you to her for sending that. And it's arrived today safely. So thank you so much for that. Um, I am going to post about this on social media, but I was saying to you last time, I just wanted to check that the people on this back page that their makes was in it, that they've seen it, and two of them, I know, hadn't. One of them had actually thrown her book away before, and hadn't even noticed she was in the back, but she got it back out. And uh, so, yeah, and, two, and one's away, and someone else hadn't looked at theirs yet. So uh, I'll check, and then I'll be posting about that on Instagram with the other people that are in it. So thank you for that, Kerry. Um, so that's arrived today. Um, so, what shall I say? Actually, do you know what? I will tell you about the washing line now. Uh, basically, when I moved into this house uh, in 2005, I used to have quite a large washing line going down the garden like this and this. And one day, I went out, no washing line, gone. I said to my husband, do you know what's happened to the washing line? He said, uh, yeah, um, I cut it down. And I was like, well, um, why? Could it, uh, oh well, you know, it's just getting on my nerves when I mow the lawn. So I'm okay, but how am I going to dry the clothes? Because you know, I don't, you know, I like to put stuff out on the line. So I badgered him for a while, and he ended up buying me a rotary line. But it wasn't like one you dig in the ground; 
it was like half a rotary line that you basically put on a wall. So that's been up on my wall and you can put it up and down and I find it really useful. It's not as nice as having a washing line because you know when you want them to like, do you know if you met, like I'm a quilter so I'd like to peg quilts up on there and take photos and things. But, uh, so it, well, it didn't, it looked a bit insult unsightly really to do that kind of thing anyway it was usable um and then this year i went to get my pegs uh, and i've got this lovely tin that says pegs and i keep it at the back door went to get it it was gone it was like oh, to my husband where's my peg um tin oh i don't know i've never seen it i said well you must have you've obviously moved it because i can't find it Oh no, no, I don't know about that. Right, so I've got no pegs. And then, so I thought I've got to get some more pegs. And then, um, I've heard all this commotion in the garden. And the wall my uh, thing was attached to was getting knocked down by my neighbour. I phoned my husband and said, oh yeah, I've told him he can do it. I was like, yeah, well, where's my rotary line? Oh, it's broke. So I like, okay, so... My husband was ordering some things online on Amazon and I was like, could you put um, a washing line on there, please? So basically, I've got him to order me a washing line, that one that extends across. Like, I don't know how good they are, I don't know if it would be a disaster, but basically, I'm going to get him to... Well, basically, he's got that and I'm going to get him to put it up, so I've got a washing line again. So these things that husbands do. I don't know if you've got a husband that does things like this, but I have. Anyway, so, oh right, uh, this is non-craft related, but I've put a note of it. So crafts aren't over or makes, but I'll mention this. Um, I've recently discovered uh, an online uh, shop. Uh, it's in London. There's definitely one in London um, and it's Anthropology. And I've managed to buy a lovely, um, is it, basically it's a jug. Do you call it a pincer? Pic a picture. A picture, that's it. A picture. And, uh, but it's a cat. And the cat and the cat's face on it looks just like one of my rag dolls. This real, like, you know, this, like, you know, face that he has on him. And uh, I've got that for my middle son because it's got measures on it. Um, because he, he gets a bit anxious over things. And uh, so it was about it was for him to use to pour out squash so we could get the measures because it's got the measures inside in like cups. So uh, I got that for him. He's cat crazy. Like we all love our cats, but the cat he's cat crazy. He's got a special bond with one of the cats. And I got him a mug, and it's so nice. It's all these cats on it, and then uh, a little gold one. So I'll pop it up if I haven't already. There'll be a picture on there. So he's really happy with that. So that's arrived. So uh, I don't know if you're any of you are cat fans, but you know it's worth checking out. Like, like I'm not, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I'm, I'm paying for my own thing. I'm not plugging anybody because I'm gaining money. It, these are my personal opinions and things I've got. So that is that. Um, I, um, if you are interested in my cats, I might pop a photograph of them at the very end of, of my cats because I don't generally bring them in my videos. Right, now I'm going to talk to you about a home education project. It is sewing related and um, and this is a home ed project, not because of Corona home ed. I home educate my middle child anyway. So a project we've decided to do, so we've kind of made a start of it, but it's going to be like when term starts again, that we're really going to get into it. We, I would do bits in the summer, but I haven't got my car at the moment, so um, I can't really go out getting fabrics and things. I can order a few things in, but uh, basically um, I've got him to choose a character that he would like to dress up as. Um, he changed his mind about five times and I'm kind of happy now with the one he's decided to go with because um, I don't know what he's after on, on this table but I don't want to let him on because he could fall off whatever. Um, 
I'm kind of glad because it's a bit more achievable for us to do. So what we're going to, together, I'm going to help, I've got him to help me pick patterns. We've looked online, so we had a bit of education, like going on the internet and going on Google and paying for things and searching for things. It's all a part of the home education. Um, we've printed the character out and uh, and basically I'm going to take him fabric shopping, he's going to help me pick the fabrics, I'm going to help, uh, basically we're going to draft our own waistcoat together using the Luttero system, I don't know if you've ever heard of that, so I'm going to have to put him back in here because I don't, for his own safety I don't want to put him on the table, uh, using the Luttero system, I don't know if you've heard of that, I've used it to make some shorts for myself before and uh, I'm a bit worried what he's gonna do here. <laughs> I don't. I just don't know what he's up to. I don't know. I might have to put him out if he if he carries on. In all honesty, because I don't want him on the table. Because he, he could just go straight off and whatever. And I have got my little mouse. I don't know if he's after that uh, on here. And uh, and obviously there's Captain Chips. I don't know if he's after him, but. I don't want him playing with them in all honesty and there's needles on the mouse so it's not safe at all so I'll show you the character that he wants to dress up as now please don't ask me his name I can't remember uh, he's got basically a purple waistcoat a pink tie um, a lot that coat looks quite blue I think it's navy or black I'll have to double check with him a long coat um, a top hat um, and trousers now some of the pictures he's got boots that go over the trousers and some of the pictures he's just got normal boots on so it just depends on the artist interpretation of it so that is the character that we're going to work on I'll just pop that down there and um, I've ordered um, a pattern for the jacket so basically we're going to draft our own waistcoat for the uh, jacket uh, we're going to use this one and it's uh, a simplicity 2895 and uh, it's basically a guy's costume um, thing there's um in it there's a long coat a waistcoat and um and a, sh a shirt like a bit of like 19th century kind of a shirt um so that so we're going to be making the jacket in the autumn so that that's the next well it's one of the things for the project and i've ordered this pattern it's the simplicity 8713 and that's got all these costume hats um there's one that looks a bit like elton john a cowboy shaped one uh, I don't know. Oh, I'll put a photograph of these up on the screen. I would. I don't, that one in the bottom corner. I don't know what kind of hat that is. It reminds me maybe the Pied Piper kind of style hat. And then the one we're going to do is this top hat here, and obviously put all the diamond things on it. So that is that. So I am not going to basically just sew all this for him, because it's. Uh, I'm planning it to be a home education project. And granted, it's a very big project. It's a lot of work isn't it doing because obviously I'm involving him and we've got to go out shopping together so you know it could take us up until Christmas really couldn't it so um but yeah that's the project we're going to work on but I'm going to get him involved in doing the sewing he has sewn before all my boys have sewn before um my youngest son has actually got a sewing machine so, so that's going to be fun um get getting him back on the sewing machine and I'm working on that and um so I've tried to um because he's like a year 10 boy he would be going into year 11 i have said would you think about getting into dressmaking and getting a qualification as you know a beyond school age thing and he's he is really interested in it but he's um it, like i've not, probably never mentioned this on uh, on uh, youtube and i know it's his business but he has got asperger's and uh so he's not very keen on the classroom environment uh, not anymore. He had a bit of a bad experience when he was in year eight of senior school. A few things happen and he's, he's absolutely terrified of school, if I can be perfectly honest. And uh, I don't know if I'd ever get him in a, in a classroom again. So, um, I, you know, it'd be great if I could get him doing maybe a, cl 
you know, it's like a thing that is a dressmaking qualification. Um, I don't know if it's something I could do with him myself online or if there's somewhere I could take him that it was, you know, not didn't feel like a typical school. I don't know. So, so that's what's going on with our home education project. That's an autumn thing coming up and it's sewing. Right. Mandy Shaw unboxing. Uh, this month, this is the July one, and uh, and this is the booklet that comes this month. And the project now, oh, I've dropped here. I think that's my angel. Um, you get in this one. Did I get those with Mandy's? No, I'm telling a lie. I didn't get those with Mandy's. That that was in something else. I did get a bag with Mandy's, and it had some sweets in it. Um, it it came with this project. Now you've seen one of these before. Um, I didn't show you a photograph on YouTube, but I've shown you physically. I'll put it up now. A thread holder. It the project this time is a slightly different thread holder. Maybe I'll put a photograph of that oh you probably can see that actually can't you so it's basically a different kind of thread holster holder so that's really exciting isn't it uh, if you haven't made one already but i'm not going to complain because i'm going to make another one even though i've made one before and the booklet um that that's the block that you'll be doing this month but i have said before i'm not going to be doing those blocks at the moment um it tells you about the uh, the projects. You do get a download to do a hanging heart that you have to download that this month, and you do get a recipe for the overnight tea cake. Um, Mandy's on about her garden and her inspiration, and I haven't. And then there's the recipe on the back. I haven't read through that properly yet. Uh, I just wanted to show you so those are the things I haven't obviously quite finished with my July one yet um, but obviously I've got I mean my June one I, I, I always get the months mixed up as well I think when I was showing you my So Hayley Jane box my July box uh, even though it said July box on my channel I said June in the video another wording mistake there so that's the Mandy Shaw Secret Society unboxing for this month and that's something you can sign up to once a year so you can't sign up to it now but you could sign up to it it's kind of like next spring if you want to do it next year so that is that one right. fabric um right I really wanted to make another Agnes top now I've made a long sleeve Agnes top with the poofy sleeves and the gathered bit here and a raised neck my first one my second one I made a long sleeve plain just plain no no puffy sleeves no ruching here and a higher neck but I've never made the Agnes just as it should be so I want to make the shorter length sleeve one with the correct neck basically and I wanted something uh, probably quite white maybe maybe stripy to go with my uh shorts that I made my what are they called they're Tilly and the Buttons Jessa shorts I've made two pairs of those but I wanted it to go with that um I haven't put the I might be able to put a picture up of those actually but um but of the fabric I've ended up getting, I got it from Jim John Lewis yesterday, and it is a tad bit childish, right? And my husband said he was with me. He, I, I got them to cut it while he was making phone calls in the car. Then he came and met me, and he looked at it, and he said, "How, how old are you?" I was like, "Oh wow, well, no, whatever." So, but. <laughs> But this is it. It's stripy. At a glance, it's just going to look like stripy. But it has got little bunnies on it. And it is um, a 100% cotton knit jersey. I think this might be the Craft Cotton Company. But it's got little Miffy the Rabbit on it. Can you see that? So okay, I am going to be making a Magnus with it. And uh, I don't know. I know it's a bit childish. But you know what? I don't really care. So if people want to judge me. So I don't care. It smells, it smells gorgeous. It's just been through the wash, and uh, and I did tumble dry it, but it does still smell lovely. A fabric softener. Um, some other makes I'm going to be doing now. I've mentioned that I want to make the spring shorts. 
Um, they, I saw someone on Instagram wearing them. I think her name's Phoebe. And I really like them. And I found, and she put where they were from, and then I, I, I couldn't get them. And then I emailed some somebody, and she kindly emailed me the uh, the link for the pattern. And it is a free pattern from Peppermint Magazine. I think it's an Australian magazine. And it's called the Spring Shorts. And uh, I don't know how well you can... I'll leave that there a second. I think it kind of focus if you leave it there long enough but anyway i'm going to be making them so you're going to see them anyway and i'll probably take a photo of that then so i'm going to be making those um and i'm going to be using now mandy shaw fans you may get really annoyed with me now but i'm going to be using some of my linen from the secret society to make the shorts and i've actually i've washed it uh and i've lightly tumble dried it on a delicate and uh, and it's washed of lovely it really has so rest assured if you do something quite gentle gentle wash gentle tumble dry and i did kind of get it out a bit damp and i finished it off on my what have I got? i've got one of those things from lakeland uh, it's like an air and a clothes dryer thing that you put like a hood over it like a clothes horse that you put like a cover over it and you can plug it in but um i call it the dry too soon it's just my nickname for it we used to have something called the dry soon and i used to call it the dry too soon it's just a bit of a joke now i call that the dry too soon so it's been sitting on the dry too soon for a while so i'm going to be making spring shorts out to that and i thought what would really be nice is maybe like a nice nautical looking top a navy top so i tried to get some fabric from john lewis and uh, there was a meter and a half left and i thought oh i could make an agnes it'd be really nice it was like navy with like white flowers and but it didn't tell you what it was you knew it was knit and you knew it was stretchy but it didn't say what its composition was and, I, and he checked it for me and he said it's a basically it was virtually all polyester with a bit of a last stain in it and i thought oh and i said to my husband i'm gonna sweat in that and i was going to wear make it to go something with shorts and the guy actually said look you don't have to actually buy this because i haven't cut it it was the last bit you don't have to have it so he, i said you know what do you mind if i leave it so he let me leave it so so i, I, I didn't get any knit to make a top with it but um but i have got this it's not knit it's woven, it's crepe, and it came in my So Hayley Jane box. So I've been on the lookout for a nice top, maybe a blouse or something. And I've spent a lot of time in the evening, was it last night or maybe the night before, looking. And I just can't make a decision uh, on what I want to make um, to go with it. So it's still a bit up in the air. So maybe... I'll make the shorts, um, maybe make the Agnes, uh, maybe it'll give me a bit of time to think, maybe I'll see what other people are making, maybe I won't make a top at all, maybe I'll decide to make something entirely different, so I don't know yet, and I still haven't forgotten about this fabric that I got in my Guthrie and Garney box, um, and I've got the wilder gown pattern. Now, just before this video, I couldn't actually find the pattern. And uh, it's here. I found it here. That's the wilder gown. But I've had a look at it, and I've had a look at the sizes, and I've thought about my figure. Uh, I am going to make the full-length dress, even though it isn't really my thing. I, might, I could, just don't hold me to it. I might change my mind. But I think I might want ties on it. So... I'm just thinking if I want to have a tie to make it nip in a bit at the waist, uh, how long would you leave each tie, uh, would you say? And how wide would you cut the fabric to fold in half? Because I've never made a tie for the back of a dress before. So uh, if you've made, oh, and I don't think I've got a pattern that's got a dress like that. So if you've made something that's got a tie, you could give me some measurements 
uh, maybe pop in the comments below um, how long and how wide that I could put into that. I'd find that really useful. Um, so other one other thing I haven't forgotten about that I do intend to make um, is the therapy dolls, the John Scott therapy dolls, and um, and I've downloaded that pattern and the revised dolls clothing. So I will be making a therapy doll if it's not too late, and um, that's on the agenda. I do want to make some homemade jumpers, especially for sitting in here, because if I'm having to sit in here with a jumper on in in the summer, a height of summer, oh, I'm going to be freezing in the winter. So I definitely need some jumpers, even if I'm going to just sit in here chatting to you to wear them because as soon as I go in the kitchen it's baking and I'm not going to need it in there I have to get changed again if I go back in there so um yeah and any there might be other things I've not mentioned that I might make as well um if I have a look through things that are summer related um I might be making those so because I'm lot I'm trying to do a little bit of everything I'm trying to do a bit of Mandy a bit of cl uh, clothes and a bit of other things so um i think that's all i want to chat to you about today i am going to log off soon um i haven't got my car and and i haven't got uh, i want some ingredients for dinner so when i go off here i'm going to just check what i need to wear outside i'm going to get my shopping bag and i'm going to walk to the co-op with my shopping list then throw a few ingredients in because i'm planning on doing some like noodle dish for my boys tonight so uh so yeah so i think it's time to go i uh, hope you've enjoyed what i've shown you today and um and i'll be back soon with some more makes more plans hopefully my dress making journey from the beginning i haven't um put the, anything together for that yet but um all this is on the agenda so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon and i've done it again haven't i i've covered my remote but i like to say i'll see you soon and turn it up here it is and uh, and i lose it I, I need to like you know strap it somewhere don't i but thank you so much for watching and um you know if you want you know want to follow me on instagram or things i'm, I'm claire who makes things with underscores between each word Claire with the I and the E and I am on Facebook as Perry Winkle Cottage Crafts I've been on there for years and years and years so if you're interested in seeing bits in between you're welcome to follow me there um, I do also do blog posts I'll put that in the below this when I when I finally got the blog post together uh, but um, but if not I'll see you next time on YouTube thanks for watching bye